Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Melanie King. Two moms regret getting piped down by a BBC on a 304 trip. And then claims SA. What? Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. Now, a new travel warning. Two women were drug drugged and assaulted while on vacation in the Bahamas, unaware the State Patrolman had issued a travel advisory in the area. Eva Pilgrim has the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. These two moms say they thought they were doing all the right things to be safe. They were in a pair. They didn't take drinks from strangers. They weren't drinking in excess. But this morning, they say their drinks were drugged at a Bahamian resort, and they were attacked. The FBI now investigating. Amber Shearer and Dengalia Dobson were on their first kids-free vacation on board a Carnival cruise. We've been best friends for over 20 years, and we decided we were going to make this our girls' trip. On the last day of their trip, they stopped at a local resort on Grand Bahama Island, a resort they say the cruise ship recommended. Once there, the mothers claimed they were offered a two-for-one drink, which they accepted, but immediately fell ill. After the first uh. drink, we had to get out of the ocean because we noticed that it was just hitting so hard. I just felt so out of it. Shear and Dobson say they lost consciousness and allege that after drinking the drugged cocktails, members of the resort staff sexually assaulted them. Sure. I vaguely remember glimpses of his face. I don't remember all of it. I don't remember everything. But I remembered enough of that he was a staff worker and he had a goatee and he was a local. That the resort security were able to go pull the footage and identify them right then and there. They say there were bruises on their legs and that they tested positive for various drugs. The Royal Bahamas police posting on Facebook confirming two men were arrested for sexual assault of two women and that an investigation is underway. Shear and Dobson say that's not enough. They're back in the U.S. demanding justice. This Wow. State okay. Department issued a level two travel advisory for the Bahamas <clears throat> in late January due to an increase in homicides and sexual violence. It's extremely important if you're going to go overseas. I also have an two guests on Carnival Elation reported to Bahamian police that they were sexually assaulted at a local beach. Considering that now their advice for other women stick to groups of four or more when traveling. These women lie and then make even like they make up advice within their lie to tell women how to escape from the lie that they just lied about what the fuck is going on well hey there gma I also have an obligation to make sure that the areas that they're recommending to passengers to tourists are safe carnival due to an increase in homicides and sexual violence Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and it looks like there's two moms who went on a girl's trip alone without their husbands or children, mm -hmm. um, and somehow it turned into two random staffers at a resort while they're on a cruise decide to just drug them down and mm -hmm, them randomly. <sighs> what is the world coming to? Men everywhere are just so dangerous, but- The but predators! What's that you say? What's that you say, Bob? Oh, uh, we have another report coming in. This is crazy. I made a video last night about these two moms from Kentucky who were on a carnival cruise and made a stop at Grand Bahama. And apparently two of the staff members there slipped some DRUGs into their drinks and then SA'd them. Well, the resort and the cruise line is saying that their story is completely wrong and that they made this whole thing up. Mm -hmm. So the resort is called Pirate's Cove, and they have 16 cameras around the resort, and it basically captured everything. And this account on the Book of Faces has a video that's just full of information. But basically, they said upon further review of their surveillance videos, the allegations made on site and in subsequent social media posts and news stories conflict with what the time stamped surveillance videos contain. As such, the lengthy videos of all concerned have been handed over to the local police and will be shared with our industry partners as needed. And then the resort goes on to say that the two guys were terminated, but because they violated the zero tolerance policy. So. So just so you know, these guys were not terminated because they did anything to these women. It's just they they 
in the surveillance, it was found that they did other things that were against company policy and at, at the resort. But as you can see here, we saw these two victimized hot girl summer thought box women that decided to go on a girl's trip. And we all know what happens on the girl's trips. They're in the Bahamas. They wanted to get some BBC. They wanted to get piped down away from their their small Midwest town and their, their boring husbands and their boring life. And of course they went here to get, uh, to get, uh, blacked. And that's exactly in my opinion. <laughs> Melody just went in <laughs> so hard on that. Uh, they wanted to be BBC commanders. That's exactly what happened. And then of course they come back and spin a victim's narrative that all this happened to them. And I have no idea why. I rack my brain all the time in trying to figure out why would a woman do something like this? Is it because she, they slept with them without using protection and perhaps they could have caught something? So they're thinking we have to come up with a story about this or perhaps they they wanted to get money uh, for a lawsuit. They want, they regretted it the next day. These men, it, was, it wasn't as good as they thought. I don't know. I come across so many stories of women just lying on men, making up false allegations of rape. And this is very serious because there are real women that have gone through this. This is women and men that have gone through this. And we are not gonna keep believing these victims because because hot boxes like these, absolute city girls like this, decide to go somewhere. And then, you know, we have to bring in the racial component in this as well. These two white mid Midwest- uh, I agree. I usually try not to put racial components when it comes to these things but them being white women from the midwest moms it, it decided to go to they're in this other country in the bahamas a poor country knowing that they have a higher economic status than he's been knowing them being two white moms they're going to be leave be the same shit that they fucking call passport bros on is the exact same shit that they do for themselves leave and again I, you guys know I don't make everything about race, but this just shows the entitlement of the Western feminists and why men around the world cannot trust the Western feminists, cannot trust the Western woman, no matter what color she is. This is her MO. If it suits her, if it's something that she can gain from making a false accusation on you, she is going to believe. All she has to do is shed a few crocodile tears, claim that you did something, and then you will be charged. You will be fired. You will be arrested. You will have your life ruined, your reputation ruined. They just so happen to actually have surveillance footage. Imagine how many men have been locked up, falsely accused, and things have happened to them. They have been imprisoned. And because there is no footage, they just believe the word of this woman. And because she's a woman, well, of course she must be a victim. How many times does this have to happen before we actually change the laws, before we actually have to have evidence? They will keep, usually these women came forward, but normally the victim's, the victim's name will be held private even after she's found to be lying. She's still seen as a victim while the man's name and face and likeness is blasted all over the place. And just we know that accusation alone will crucify him and destroy his life. We do, I, I cover many many stories of college accusations and all these things they always post the guy's name i can't even post the woman's name it is illegal in terms of service for me to do that on youtube to be able to put the woman's name and image out there even though it's found that she was the accuser and he was completely innocent for some freaking reason they can still consider that person the victim I don't know how anybody, any man in the world is still dealing with a Western woman. Here's a timeline according to their footage. The girls entered the property at 817 in the morning. They were greeted by staff at 824. Then at 940, one of the girls met with one of the guys who's being accused. Then at 1006, you can see them, looks like they're walking arm in arm with these two guys. They were headed towards the Western side of the beach where the alleged incident took place. Now check out this video and then listen to what they have to say about it. Refuse to let us see a U.S. physician or refused, a carnival physician. Refuse to let us have a rape kit done immediately. Made us go to the bathroom. Like, 
that guys, they wouldn't even give us a rape kit after we had been raped. They refused. They made us go to the bathroom and use toilet tissue, and they collected. I love Melanie's faces as their specimens. And then they did an alcohol test on us. Like we were just super drunk. We had hardly any alcohol in our system at all. Well, the resort says that their EMS offered medical assistance to both of the girls, but they declined and even signed a waiver. And then they left for the cruise ship in a private vehicle. But knowing the gravity of the incident, their officers boarded the cruise ship, providing an SA kit and hospital form to the ship's medical doctor. So that's completely different than what the girls are saying. Mm -hmm. And just to throw in there, there is now a... What? What? You made all of this up and then you make a GoFundMe for $10,000? Women are just complete prostitutes nowadays, aren't they? A GoFundMe with a $10,000 goal. Apparently, it's to help raise money for medications that they need that help prevent certain diseases. So there you have it. The modern Western feminist woman, which generally most of the Western women today are indoctrinated with some level of feminism. Correct. It is a sliding scale. Okay. It is, it, it is a, it is a scale. Not everyone is, not every woman is at the same level of feminism, but there is this indoctrination when it suits them, they will use their tears to hurt a man. They will use their tears to save themselves. I have countless, countless, countless number of stories that are out there that I have done research on. I have highlighted a few on my channel, even, even, uh, Matt talking about Matt Ariza and several, uh, several other, even celebrity type of men that this has happened to. No man is safe when the Western woman is something that she wants. She's going to do whatever it takes to get it from you. And now they're even having laws now where they're on campuses, some campuses that they're promoting that if a woman can actually withdraw consent. So if she's, I think up to a week that she has to withdraw. Well, what? Wait, what? So you have sex with them? And then a week later, they could have withdrawn the consent? How does that even fucking work? The deed's been done. Oh my God. Consent. So that if you sleep with her and she decides, well, I didn't like how it went. I didn't like the way he treated me. Oh, he didn't kiss my butt afterwards. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. She just changes her mind. She can now withdraw consent, even if consent was given at the time, even if there was a witness to consent. And then you can then be charged. You can then be kicked off of campus. This is how crazy and antagonistic this world has gotten towards men. And while there are stories like this where women have really been victimized, it is sad that they promoted these women without having strong evidence that something happened. They allowed these women to just tell their story without any, any evidence, any type of uh, investigation being done. They were just allowed, they called the news stations to promote this and wanted to warn other women in case they're going and blah, blah, blah. And then now they wonder why men, you can't believe all women anymore Hell no. because of women like this females like this disgusting females that if they're lying which it looks like the evidence is showing that they're lying according to to the the cruises now of course the investigation has to finish so we don't have the thing but this alleged situation that happened that they claim happened now we're seeing that the not only the cruise line but the bohemian um the bohemian um professionals uh the authorities there are saying that they're lying that they're making this up, that the evidence shows something completely different than their timeline. And we know if a woman has been getting bust down by BBC in one of these countries, she does has to come home and face the consequences of her sins, face the consequences of what she's done. It could be that she caught a disease. It could be her own conscience, whatever it is, but somehow she has to be a victim. And of course, some poor simp is going to believe that she was, whether there's evidence of it or not. So guys, I'm really upset about stories like this because I know women personally, this happened to this happened to my mother at 14. And so I am, I'm an advocate for, 
you know, um, for, against SA and all of that against men and women and especially children. But when we see these stories come out like this, it hurt, it does nothing but hurt people. And it does nothing but hurt men further and demonize men. When a lot of times the perpetrators of these crimes are actually women. It's sad that the boy who cried wolf was such a great story when we were younger. That story told you and taught you why constantly lying about something ruins it for you and ruins it for everybody else and causes your yourself harm whatever happened to those stories please like subscribe down below i really appreciate it and catch you guys next time ciao